Hey there guys, it's Metro and today we're going to be taking a look at the Florin Gym Battle in Pokemon Rejuvenation, final version here. So if you watch the video I made on this, on my like Let's Play thing, yeah, you're going to see that this is a very different battle, All right, He's buffed it, Jan's buffed the fight very significantly. In fact, it feels a lot more difficult than I expected it to be, but this is good. This is a good thing. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of the, you know, so there's some cognitive dissonance that occurs on this fight. Like the, the cap is 75, but you don't get any more cap this time so you have to like kind of balance it right you need you need to make sure that your pokemon are going to stay relevant for the next time you play this game so it's kind of it's kind of interesting like leveling up 10 times to, to comp find yourself competitive here i don't know i don't know how i feel about it uh, but i did do it these four pokemon that i used are probably never going to be used again so this is actually a really good thing like i think like this is proper uh, I've, I've really uh, you know developed this because these pokemon are specific to it so it's not that big of a deal but basically i just have heavy hitters like there's really nothing else to say about this strategy you just go matchup for matchup but i'm telling you right now guys the challenge of this is that florin is hyper aggressive very offensive oriented uh, his sister flora is like the defense one so that one's a lot different but this battle is not uh, not gonna go well for you if you're not gonna level up like i don't know how you could even beat this consistently without being the proper level since they're all so high and he's got a legendary 78 level pokemon and then a mega you know so yeah let's just go ahead and get on to the footage and we'll show you guys the the strategy but there's really not much there so the first matchup is obviously the most basic it's just fall you gotta use a flying type there's no reason to even mess around with it Berlin's gonna get one shot by any flying move of a powerful level so that's that he can mess around with you a little bit. It's got spore and stuff, but it shouldn't really matter as long as you're faster. Now, this was the first big challenge here. I really struggled to kill this thing properly. This one, I was trying to do it at 69, and you see here, even with the level 74 Vanalux with full EV training, uh, I still lose the damage roll there, so it's pretty crazy. This is his toughest Pokemon, but it's easy to manipulate because all you need is a good rock move with Sturdy, and that's what we have with Gigalith here. But yeah, 78 legendary guys. Like nothing, nothing to sneeze at there. He he's like a flinch god as well. You really can't go up matchup wise with him. You have to kind of exploit it a little bit. Ludicolo is tough as well, and in fact, I still can't win the damage roll here even at 74. So what I'm trying to do here is this weird thing happens. I don't understand why the AI is so weird all of a sudden, but I'm not actually gonna kill this Ludicolo. It doesn't matter. All all I'm trying to do here is get the Whimsicott into a bad matchup, which you'll see. He's just going to keep healing up the Ludicolo, and then after he heals him up all these times, he's going to make like this really weird, stupid decision. Watch this. So, yeah, he's just going to switch into a Hurricane. It's like, what the fuck? What, what's happened to the AI in this game? I, I don't really understand. The last, like, two gyms have been, the AI has been really weird, really bad, actually. Uh, so that's it. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't you can't lose when they make those poor switches. It just goes really well for you. But you have to make sure you can one shot the Whimsicott. All right, so that's kind of like a condition you need to make. And then Sceptile is a going to go into Mega, so it's a dragon, and all you got to do is hit him with the Ice move. Doesn't really matter. I have two Ice Pokemon on my team just in case, because sometimes it is a Mega. Like he can kill you no matter what. Uh, but yeah, nice little bulky Dugong there. It's just going to take him out. And he goes down like the Titanic, and that's it. But, like, if I try to do this at 69, that's what I was setting myself. I recorded this after I, I, I recorded Flora, but Flora is going to go live after this because it's a little bit, there's something to talk about there. Uh, but either way, I tried to do this at 69. That's how I did with Flora. And it's just not, I just can't find a way to do it. Like, no matter what I do, I cannot, I cannot survive his damage at that level, and I cannot outspeed him. I can't beat him properly. So. I don't know, I guess there's a way to do it, like a lot more metagaming, but at this point the field doesn't help you. And the big issue here is that uh, fire attacks are useless on this field because it's raining. It's really difficult to use a fire type in this in this situation here. I would need like nine tails, something with drought, something to change it to sunny day, or, or I guess use a turn, but like using a turn on an ability that's not gonna try to take out the opponent is almost certain death because all of these Pokemon are just so intensely offensive so yeah, you'll see the same thing here. I mean, the confusion could have helped if he actually got confused, if he ever attacked, but he never actually attacks really. He just heals himself the whole time. And then he switches. He switches into Whimsicott, which I guess, you know, it makes sense because it's a fairy type. It would be able to one-shot Noivern, but it's just not like, it's not how Pokemon works. You don't, you don't make a switch. You don't, it just doesn't, I don't know. It's the AI is so bad. It's really weird. And it doesn't really change that much. Like I could have killed the Whimsicott easily. Like. 
the original strategy was to one shot the Ludicolo and then Destiny Bond the Whimsicott. But this is like, it just makes it so I don't even have to care about that. You know what I mean? The AI just gave me a free kill. And then all you gotta do is survive one more hit and finish off the Ludicolo because he's out of the potions, you know? So that's that. And then it's the same deal, Mega Sceptile. So I don't know. I don't really know what to say, to say about this. I, I wanna talk about this topic for a little bit though. Uh, when I beat this the first time, it, first of all, all the Pokemon are different basically. Like it's completely different trainer. Uh, he's completely changed his strategy as well. So I don't know, like I, I like the fact that he's made it more difficult, but I don't know how I feel about this like double cap where you can't, you're not gonna get anything from this. So now that I'm 74, I'd have to use a bunch of common candies on these Pokemon if I wanted to reuse them. Because surely the next episode, whenever it comes out, is gonna push these, would push a 74 into 76, and then they wouldn't obey. So we'll see, like I don't know how I'm gonna approach that, but regardless guys, I play this game, like I have a, a massive amount of, uh, reverse candies whatever they're called so I would recommend doing the same to you I would just you know play the cap like it's not anything to worry about it sucks to level them up 10 levels since the previous cap but uh, it's just something you got to do if you're gonna take on floor or floor in floor is a lot different uh, but anyway yeah I like the challenge I like the difficulty I like the offensive nature I like the diametric opposition between the two and I think so we're gonna go with floor as the final finale for this because I think she is the canon ending, quote unquote canon, not not the dude canon. <laughs> I think like, I think that's how it's supposed to go based on what I've seen. But I'm gonna keep both of these saved just in case, in case there's some divergence that comes up in the next episode. But anyway, I imagine that's not for a very long time. So yeah, if you have any questions about this battle, let me know. Or especially, if you have some strategy that you think you could impose here that would be a lot better than me just going high level matchups like if you found some exploit for the field or something like that let me know because i feel like this is the one that i just didn't enjoy it wasn't fun it didn't feel like i was playing the game the way i was playing it in previous gyms but then in flora it was the complete opposite so yeah next episode is her and then after that it's the end of it so if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff just let me know otherwise we'll see you guys in the next episode